So today we're going to be looking at three different but similar circle geometry questions, focusing on a two very specific tricks that will work for so many of these circle geometry questions. So let's start with this first one. A rectangle is inscribed in a semicircle. That means all its points are touching the semicircle like that. What is the area of that semicircle? Now, you can pause the video and try it yourself. This question is taken from the wonderfulbrilliant.org, as usual. So the two tricks that we're going to use are firstly to draw extra radiuses or radii. Now, what I mean by that is we have this semicircle. Let's draw in the radius and see if it is useful. So we have this radius over there, which doesn't feel that useful. Similarly, we have this radius here which doesn't feel that useful. And what's good about this is we know that these radiuses are always the same length. Can you see where we might find a useful radius? Well, what if I drew it here? Now this radius is useful because it also tells us something about the rectangle. If we look at this right angle triangle here, it's formed partly from the rectangle. We know these missing lengths. This length is one, and this length down here is half of the rectangle. So it's also one. And that leads us to our second trick. Form right angle triangles and use Pythagoras. You'll be surprised at how many of these circle questions have hidden right angle triangles within them. And look, we have this right angle triangle that is formed from this rectangle and our radius. So if we draw out here, Okay, that's a pretty terrible right angle triangle. But this is a pretty famous right angle triangle. Well, let's use Pythagoras' theorem. One squared plus one squared is going to give me that radius squared. So we have that two equals the radius squared. So the radius equals the square root of two. Square root of two. And now we know that we can find the area of the semicircle pretty nicely. The area of a whole circle is pi times the radius squared. So the area of the whole circle would be pi times root two all squared, which is just pi times two, two pi. Therefore, the area of the semicircle is gonna be half of that, is two pi over two, which is just pi. So the area of the semicircle is just pi unit squared. So there we go. That's our trick. Draw radiuses, try and find useful ones, and form right angle triangles and use Pythagoras. So let's look at another one. How about this one? This figure shows a circle inscribed in a square, inscribed in a circle. The area of the outer circle is 16 pi. What's the area of the smaller inner circle? Once again, taken from brilliant.org, why don't you pause the video, try it yourself using those two tricks. Step one is drawing radiuses. Step two is looking for right angle triangles. Okay, so let's start drawing some radiuses in. The first one that I notice is this. This is the radius of the bigger circle. And actually, if I go all the way across, this is the diameter. Each of these pieces are the radius of that big circle. Now, we have that the area of the big circle, I'm going to call that BC, is 16 pi. We also know the formula for that. That's going to mean that pi r squared equals to 16 pi. Therefore, r squared is 16. So r is the positive square root of 16, which is 4. We, we know that this big circle has a radius of 4. That's 4, and that's 4. So what else do we know? Well, we now know that in this square, the longest diagonal is 8. So we can once again use Pythagoras. We have a right angle triangle where this side length is the same as this side length because it is a square. The hypotenuse is 8. So let's solve this. x squared plus x squared equals to 8 squared. 2x squared equals to 64. x squared equals to 32. So x equals to the square root of 32. Okay, now why is that helpful? How can you see how this length of the square can help us to find the radius of the smaller circle? 
Well, what you might notice is this. This length is the radius of the small circle. But it's also, if you look at it, exactly half the length of the big square. This is x over 2. So in our small circle, we have that the radius is just half the length of the square that, inscri that it is inscribed within. So it's going to be root 32 over 2, half of root 32, x over 2. So we can now find the area of the small circle, which is pi times the radius squared, which is pi times root 32 over 2 all squared, which is pi times 32 over 4, which is just 8 pi. So there we go. The area of the smaller inner circle is 8 pi, half of that bigger circle, which is pretty neat. Once again, we used our two tricks, drawing lots of radiuses in, seeing how they link to the other shapes we have inscribed within our circle, and then using Pythagoras, once we've found some right angle triangles. So there we go. That leads us to our ultimate question, which is this one. Now this one comes from the recent intermediate math challenge. Now, pause the video, draw some radiuses, see what you can do. Okay, so in this case, it's a little bit trickier to see where our radiuses fit in. We have this bigger semicircle where the diameter is four, which means that the radius is two. Now I'm gonna draw this radius in, this one. What we're trying to do is trying to find the shaded area, this radius. Now this length is also two. But what I can see is inside the smaller semicircle, inside the smaller semicircle, what I've actually done is I've created a right angle triangle. And not just any right angle triangle, I've created a right angle triangle where these lengths are the same because they are both the radius of the small circle. So they have to be the same. So actually what I can then just do is I can do Pythagoras on it as well using that trick. Draw extra radiuses, form right angle triangles. So this is two, this is x, this is x, x being the radius of the small circle. We've got x squared plus x squared equals to two squared. 2x squared equals to 4, x squared equals to 2. So x, which remember is the radius of the small semicircle, is the square root of 2. And now we're basically there, because if we know that that's the square root of 2 and that's the square root of 2, we can now just find all the areas of the shapes. The area of the big semicircle is just pi times that radius squared, and that radius is 2. So that's pi times 4, so 4 pi. And the area of the smaller semicircle is pi times its radius squared, which is pi multiplied by root 2 all squared, which is 2 pi. So the area of the shaded region, this bit, A, B, and C, area of that bit is just going to be 4 pi, the big one, minus 2 pi, the small one, which is just 2 pi. So there we go. Actually, the question itself said, what fraction of the shape is shaded here? And the answer would be half, 2 pi out of 4 pi. How neat is that? It doesn't immediately look obvious that half of this shape is shaded in, but it is. And once again, we used our tactic, draw extra radiuses, form right angle triangles, and use Pythagoras. So there we go. Three completely different questions all using the same two-step trick to solve them all. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.